Hey everyone, this is Mr. Sal. This uh, question from one of the homeworks from Unit 5 is from a student, and I thought it'd be best to kind of see this in a video. So while you're staying at home from uh, the virus and staying safe and healthy, I hope this video helped you out. So we want to find the total surface area of this pyramid. Go down to the nearest tenth if it's necessary. And on this particular pyramid, we have a hexagonal base. So it has a, it's a two-dimensional shape with six sides, right? A hexagon. Now for this problem, I'm going to break it up into separate smaller parts, which will hopefully help us to focus on each part, well, more separately. But um, it should also break this problem down into some more smaller manageable parts. So I'm going to draw that hexagon, something like this, right? Now I'm going to put the measurements that they gave us on this hexagon. For example, the base here is 11 inches. And uh, if this was the center, it would have a height here of, it's showing there is 9.5 inches. Now this is important to notice because this triangle is actually split up I apologize this hexagon is actually split up in two separate triangles but how many right? Well we'll get to that but before we do the first thing I want to focus on is this purple triangle. Uh, so I'm ignoring the rest of the hexagon even and I'm just focusing on that triangle right? So this triangle has a base of 11 inches and a height of 9.5 inches. And when I multiply those two and divide them by two, then I get the area of that full triangle, which on my calculator gives me 52.25 square inches. Now the thing about this 52.25 square inches is it's just one triangle, right? However, we can see that the hexagon has actually been split up into six separate triangles, all of the same size, by the way. So what that means is I can take this 52.25, multiply it by six, and that will tell me the full area of the entire hexagon. And when I put that in my calculator, I get 313.5 square inches. Now, just to be clear on this, it did say to round to the nearest tenth, so right here if you rounded to the tenth, you may have had just a slightly different answer. Like if you rounded this to 52.3, that's fine. Just know your answer may be slightly different than what I got right here. Alright, now what I'm going to focus on is the lateral triangles. And if we were to draw a net for this thing, would get maybe something like this, right? And this triangle would be on all the edges right here, like this. Now we drew lots of nets in this unit. We have something like this down here. Uh, but again, I really just want to focus on one of these triangles, so I'm going to use this one right here. Now it's important to remember that all the triangles of this lateral surface area are the same. All right, so no need for thinking about the Pythagorean theorem or anything like that. So on this one, the base is still 11 inches right here. And then the height of this one, it shows right there. And that is telling us it is 15.3 inches. So the height of this one, 15.3 inches. Now I just want the area of one of those triangles, right? So I'm going to take that 11, multiply it by 15.3, and I'll divide this by 2. When I put this into my calculator, this one gives me 84.15 square inches. Now remember though, if we look back, how many of those triangles are there? Well, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six of them, right? So I'm going to multiply this by six as well, and this will tell me the area of all 
six of the triangles together, which is actually the lateral surface area. And when I put this into my calculator, it gives me 504.9 square inches. So I have the lateral surface area, 504.9 square inches. I have the area of the hexagonal base, 313.5 square inches. And if I wanted the total surface area of the shape, I would add those two together to get 818.4. Yeah, don't forget to label this in uh, square inches. And this right here at the bottom is our final answer. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Stay safe out there. And keep doing your work. If you got questions, let me know. We'll see you later.